We are told that machines A and B working together can produce 800 nails in X hours. And we're told that machine A working alone can produce 800 nails in Y hours. And we're asked how long it's going to take machine B to make 800 nails by itself. So we're missing the the time for machine B to do that, that same job of producing 800 nails. I'll call the time for B a uh, little b. So what I like, what I especially like about all this information is that, is that we're always talking about the same job. We get A's time to do that job, we get the combined, con we get the combined time to do that job, and we're, looking for, and we're looking for machine B's time to do that job. And the reason I like that is because that is a direct match for our second option for combined work. The, the time to do the same job formula in which we, we input the individual times to do some job and then we get out the, the combined time to do that job. So perfect match for, for combined work option number two, we can call it, which we, we introduced and talked about a few, a few videos ago. So, the, the together time, the time to do that job of making 800 nails together is X. And we know we will get that by taking the product of the individual times, the Y hours for machine A, and what we are calling the B hours for machine B, over the sum of those same two, those same two uh, variables. So now we've got an equation, and what are we looking for here? Well, we're asked for the time for machine B to do this job, so I guess we just need to do some algebra to this thing to isolate B. And let's see, I want to give myself a little bit more space here, so I'm going to move this guy up. And, and we, can, we can get to algebra. So first, getting rid of this fraction. How do I get rid of that fraction? Well, if I multiply both sides by the denominator here, if I multiply this side by y plus b and this side by y plus b, my fraction will go away because, because this y plus b cancels with this y plus b. What happens over here? Well, if I want to get rid of these parentheses, I guess that, that x will be distributed into each of these terms. So this side becomes x times y plus x times b and that all equals y, b. All right, what now? Well, I'm looking for b, so I want to get, I want to get all my terms that include b on the same side and everything else on the other. I've got a b here and a b here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring this b over to this side, so subtracting x, b from both sides. And that leaves me with x, y, this b we've subtracted away, equals yb minus xb. So, progress. Now all the b's are on the same side, but there's still the problem that there are two b's. And I, I want just one b uh, isolated by itself. So I can get just one b by factoring that b out of each of these terms. And that leaves me with b times y minus x. Right? If I factor the, the b out of each of these, just leaves me with, with, with y, and, y and x. Uh, this side is still x, y. And now what? Well, I want the b by itself, so I'll just divide both sides by y minus x, and that leaves me with x, y divided by y minus b, oops, y minus y minus x, and that will all equal b. And that's what we were looking for, right? We said b was the time for machine b to make those 800 nails, and now we have that b in terms of x and y, which is what the question's looking for, and we get this, this expression in, in answer choice E.